Well, I don't go riding anywhere without my helmet. And now I have some e-bikes that go up to say 30 miles per hour. So it's super important to find a helmet that can really protect me. Normal bicycle helmets can cover someone that's going at low speeds and DOT style helmets that are for motorcycles are great for protecting you at high speeds, but they're really clunky and heavy. So there needs to be something in between. X-Needle might have the solution here. It is going to support riders on e-bikes that can go up to 28 miles per hour. They sent me one for a review, so let's try it out. Although I don't plan on crashing in this video and really testing the impact quality of this helmet, I think you'll appreciate everything I have to tell you about it. This box includes the helmet, a micro USB cord, visor accessory, and replacement Velcro tabs to secure the interior padding. The X Needle Old School Collection e-bike helmet meets CPSC and NTA 8776 safety standards. Although this helmet does not include MIPS certification, X Needle claims that MIPS improves rotational shear impact protection by 10%, while the NTA 8776 standard provides an 87% increase in overall protection. Technically, in the US market, there's no other helmet certification standard for e bikes that travel over 20 miles per hour. And I'm glad companies like X Needle are addressing the risk ahead of the curve. They've got a lifetime accident replacement policy and they'll replace their helmets for free if customers damage them in a collision. My first impressions are that this helmet has a good balance of style with its vintage design and ventilation. The sun visor accessory is clever and seems to work well. Sizing says this should fit a head between 22 and 7 eighths to 24 and 1 8 inches and can be adjusted via the dial fit wheel on the back of the helmet. It fits me comfortably. This padding goes all the way around, even on the tightening dial. It's removable for cleaning, including the chin strap. The strap is comfortable, but I'd prefer a bit less slack to manage. The exterior matte finish looks premium, but is susceptible to scuffing. I wonder how it will wear with a great deal of use. The x Needle e-bike helmet has a rear light with three different modes and a front white light as well. They claim a 10 hour runtime. The helmet charges via micro USB. I'd prefer USB-C, but it did come with a compatible cable. The helmet can be secured to a bike with a standard rope style lock. Other helmets are compatible with U-locks through the ventilation channels. I always prefer more flexibility. This should go without saying, but I only accept product reviews if I think they are likely to be excellent. When I was researching the X-Needle brand, the reviews were overwhelmingly positive. On the box, it says old school vintage design. I like what they've done so far and look forward to more variety as the brand grows. It looks like on their website, they plan to add accessories in the future. I'd love to see some winter liners or fitted goggles to expand the utility of the helmet and the aesthetic. Matching safety gear like knee or elbow pads for electric skateboards or unicycles could be pretty cool. I think the price is reasonably competitive considering the quality, built-in dual lighting, styling, and comfortability. If you wanna purchase one of these x Needle helmets, see the link in my description below. Thank you all for watching this review on the x Needle e-bike helmet. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, or even subscribing to my channel so I can continue to bring you more content. Until next time, drive, fly, ride. Go electric.